Good evening. Uh, today is Monday, 22nd February 2021. Uh, let's see what's happening in Malaysia. I am reading the Star Online. Um, the first thing that comes out is Bentong set to become second city in Pahang, says uh, Zuraida. Well, you know, we are having bigger problems with COVID. You know, who the hell cares about a second city? Might as well you think about the economic condition of the cities that we currently have. If it's not in Pahang, for Malaysia. Right? So what else do we have? We have college student dies after motorcycle hit stationary lorry. Hmm, the lorry was stationary. How can you hit the lorry? I think this must be a druggie. You know, they all do that. You know, smoke some grass and just hit the cycle. Um, next is COVID-19 non-Malaysian teen among six deaths, says the health um, ministry. Yeah, this is truly sad, you know, we have a lot of people dying and all that. But teenagers, you know, you wouldn't expect it to, to be in the high-risk um, group. You know, normally old people, people with asthmatic problems and what have you. But we've got teenagers dying, so that's really sad. Uh, next news is uh, High Court dismisses application to forfeit over 670k from some AMNO account. You know, all this political rubbish, enough is enough. You know, we don't want to hear about all this, you know, stupid, um, you know, legal cases and all that. We just want the government, whether or not the ruling government or the opposition, to join forces and do something good for Malaysia, especially during this COVID 19 era. Okay, next next news is uh, traffic building up on Penang Bridge due to fire and accident. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know what to say to this, but if you can't use the bridge, just use the ferry then. Okay, what else next is uh, COVID-19. Half of Malacca's tourism stakeholders have... I got to click on this because the news is... Yeah, forget about that. That's just... All right, yeah, half of Malacca's tourism stakeholders have closed shop, says Mata. Well, it's not just about, you know, Malacca's tourism. It's the entire country. A lot of the hotels cannot operate uh, and uh, it's actually no one is traveling around. No one is spending their money. Something needs to be done about this, you know. A new model needs to be developed for various industries in light of COVID-19 because COVID ain't going away. Even though you've got vaccine happening, but you know, I don't think it's going to be that easy even until 2022. Right, okay, so PM visits National Cancer Institute. Uh, well, it's good, you know, people die of cancer, people die of heart attacks, people die of all sorts of things. But I think what the PM needs to do is go and visit the various um, centers where the COVID-19 people are being treated, you know, wear your full mask, your full PPE and all that and it shows some compassionate uh, feeling towards the people who got COVID. That's, that would be a better uh, that would be a better political mileage really. Right, COVID-19, eight new clusters detected. I don't know man. You know what I have to say about this, about the clusters and all that, the biggest culprit is the Sabah political cluster. That should not have happened. If not, uh, you know, if that didn't happen, we didn't have, we wouldn't have a second wave or third wave of the COVID-19. Post Malaysia records 2.3 billion revenue in 2020. Wow, I'm surprised they can even still make money. People still send postages. Well, I don't know. Maybe during COVID-19, a lot of people are buying stuff from Shopee, from Lazada, and all that. That's probably good for Post Malaysia. Okay, next is Sarawak Deputy Minister. 414 students unable to sit for SPM. Forget about Sarawak. The whole entire country, students cannot take SPM. The Education Ministry must create a new model that works for the student. How long are you going to ask the student to stay at home online? Is that going to be effective? There are various models for which people can, you know, put people, put the students and teachers in short-term um, hostels, you know, I don't know, weekly basis, two weekly or fortnightly basis, and have some mini quarantines happening where you can still learn in pockets of time frame, right? Okay, what else do we have? 1,200 lives at stake.
please don't send them back uh, I don't really get what this is all about maybe it's about foreign workers well who the hell cares nobody can go out, can go out and nobody can come back let's just stick to that until we uh, address COVID-19 um, and uh, whoa um, this is duo nabbed for allegedly sodomizing waiter oh. Do we still need these stories about sodomization? Stop it, man. It's sickening. So, well, that is the news from just looking at, at a single page of The Star Online. Um, and uh, thank you. That's the end of news for tonight. Um, Monday, 22nd, February 2022. Good night. What? We are still on air? Why didn't you tell me? We are still on air. You're supposed to go for commercial right now. Hang on.